Training course. Go up, go up. Jump. Boosh. Training course. Ah! Training course. Hey, training course. Training course. I just jumped. Oh, my God. Oh, I had to get that one. You had to go over the side. I didn't go. You and you like selling. Oh, I just got run over by a car. VW bug, too. Oh, then I'm probably fine. Because it's the hood scoop on the VW bug was made to hit children. Because they just bounce and flip over, and it's kind of a fun ride. No, <laughs> it. Not really. Depending on the speed, Here, you can get a lot of good height on it. I hit a kid one time, and you could hear him screaming with glee in the air. <laughs> I was probably three quarters of a mile away by the time he landed. <laughs> screaming with glee. Yeah. Can we please do the intro now? Oh. We're, right. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> Hey everybody, Nolan Noor, Troy Baker again, retro replay. And today we have a, uh, we have a uh, something kind of, something kind of, I'm not going to sing. I'm not going to sing. Oh wait, I was throwing in the wrong thing. Ah, we have something very special. We have a package. Is it, it all special? It's Paperboy. Ah. Uh, NES, 1988. 1988. I was in high school. Did you see this? Ain't looking for nothing but a good time. Ain't a dog. I sang. It lasted what? How long did it last? I'm gonna start the game again. Okay, so Paperboy, what you do uh, is you, you have to, you have to. Oh, the kid with the. Oh, I hate that kid. I started off playing drums, and I wanted like I would set up a whole. Are you doing your own show right now? No, We're talking about Paperboy. No, but you're, I wanted to tell you a story. Whole ridiculous thing. Nice shot. Thank you. I, Very good shot. I wanted to be like I, I would sit that. there oh, and really play drums well. like like I was <sighs> fucking. I, I would really. do this. I would twirl. Famous drummers. Tommy Go. Lee. Tommy Lee for. Molly Crew. Fantastic. Known most famously for a porno. Well, I would say that he's probably most. He's famously known for and, his uh, enormous member. And um, and herpes. Well, you know what? I don't like to pick on people because apparently one in four people have it. So if you don't, your three friends do. <laughs> hey, what's this? No. Look at this. I'm one in court. four. Woo! Hey. All, All right, go, 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 go. <sighs> uh, the roads are a little crooked. Yeah. That's what makes it, you know. <sighs> That's it. Daily Report Monday. Look, I got through a level, though. Daily Report Monday. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Level two. We just started the show, and we got through level one. My God. I don't know what to say. It's... I feel like I'm in another something. time zone. I have a little jet lag. I've been traveling. You have been traveling. Here, take this. I need to rest my fingers. It's going to be a long day. Mm. Hey, I want to thank our fan, Lauren. Huh? Yeah, clean, cheers clean, to Lauren. Clean, dude. Absolutely. One hand. Give us retro replay cups. How's that? Isn't that cool? Mm hmm. Says, is it Thursday yet? Aw. Very sweet. I have to sneeze. Do it. I'm <laughs> Uh, the, the <laughs> my eyes are watering. <laughs> mm. Oh, is that the Grim Reaper? Whoa! The Grim Reaper and a kid with a skateboard. Oh, you gotta get back to the street. You gotta get back to the street. Okay. Watch out for the car. Watch out for the car. Mm. Oh, it's a really runaway well. lawnmower. You did really well there. I. Were you a? Uh, What's that? Did you cycle a lot. So I remember I got my first unicycle. Uh. Phew. Unicycle. You strike me as somebody who would like a unicycle. It wasn't a unicycle. That I got my first bike. Tip jar? No. Hat? When unicycle? I, when I was... <laughs> when I was 10 years old, Christmas morning, I walked out and I had a brand new blue... Unicycle. Cup. And you got on it, you said, thanks, Mom and Dad, and <laughs> smashed your face. It was a Huffy. I now, had a Huffy. Well, I didn't know this. This I, I had cruel friends that I grew up with on this street. What? I know exactly. I think I know where it's going to go. Huffy was the... It was the kind of the... Oh. Oh, you got the, a Huffy. You know what it was? Because my friend came over with his mongoose. mongoose. Right? If you had a mongoose it's or you had true. a diamondback. Oh, those yeah. Those were the two yeah, you were that badass. you had. And I... 
I was going to ask you about this. Pause. Is this an East Coast thing? Because where I grew up, that is badass. What is? But you go, that's badass. I think that's just a pacing. That's badass. No. Badass. But, but you go. It's two different words. Right, but you make it one. At what, times. Depends on how excited I am. That's badass. That is badass. I never hear you say the second. Because I, always I don't think anything you do is badass. Some of your things you do is badass. <laughs> if uh, What's the very popular fast food Mexican retail chain? Uh, it's called Unicycles. You had one. The Huffy Unicycle came out one year. You had one. Sparkled didn't you? pedals. <laughs> Sparkled pedals with the little. With the. Did you, you, you cling, cling? You and you got. And I bet foot. you got rid of it because you, there was no handlebars for streamers. No, I would have had streamers <laughs> on mine. I I had that bike, and I I didn't realize when you first got it. And my parents didn't either. You had to like. It, they give you like a little bit of air. They give you like the store air, but then you had to like actually fill up the tires. And so I was riding around with half. Full. I remember getting, uh, I, I just got it was a Huffy, I think it was silver and red. And you, remember the time when you could go and you could customize your handlebars and you get the, the, the pads, you know, because you know, sure, so you yeah, crush yeah. Your, your nuts or something? Yeah. And I remember getting it and it had a number on the front. It was like a BMX yeah. cool thing. And I remember. BMX is a cool bike. But I used to get, but it was a, it, but it was a Huffy. And I remember getting it, it was, I was so stoked. And there was a picture of me that I hated. But it's, it's like, I think it was my birthday, probably. How old? Probably 12. Was this I your first bike? No, I, I had always had hand-me-downs for my brother. But this is like one of my first, my bike, brand new. I never had a brand new bike. I had, must have just gotten out of the shower, and, I, and my hair was like combed, so I looked like... Like one of the, Al, the our gang, like that looked like I looked like Mo, where my hair was all slick. It looked like I had like I slicked it back, and you know, in like the thirties, you know, here we are, you know, like you like, put up a picture of that, Drew. No, there was a, you'll never get that picture, and I'm on my bike with this big smile, and I remember looking, going, that guy's never dating anyone ever <laughs> on his huffy. When I got that bike, I the dog's gonna chase you. Go around. I know. Fire. No, gotta go fast. Get out of the street. I am going watch fast. out for the cars. Oh no, you hit that. Oh, the dog won't God give up. Dang. It's relentless. It's a pit bull. I when I felt to take the meat right off your leg. Wow. When I got my bike, I remember that feeling of I can go. I felt like liberated. Like I felt like I had a means to travel the world. And I could did you ever run away? Yeah, I got to like the end of the Well, actually I got to a field one time. That's I did it. too. There was a field behind our house. Yeah. And I crossed this major street. It was like I might as well have walked into Mordor. I walked so far. And there's no phones, right? So your parents can't just call you and go, where are you? I was gone, and my father was freaking out. Oh, I never freaked them out like that, because they didn't love me. <laughs> they were like, oh. They like, oh, we you left. Finally... Oh, you ran away? I've been gone hey, for Hey, honey. Um... Hey, what's his face is back? Younger one. Do we have to pay for him? Mm. What is chasing me? It's a tornado. Now I'm hitting a fence. Why is a tornado a twi Look at that. There's a twister. It's a twister, N-E-N. <gasps> I'm a twister. Bill Paxton. We can't outrun it. Don't you dare knock that movie. Don't you dare. You know, a lot of people don't know it's a Christmas movie. You gotta let it go, Joe. You gotta let it go. Holy shit. It's the only of movie of his that I like. I shit really? you not. It's the only movie is his. Sorry. Well, would you you mean as a, like a lead? As a lead. <coughs> Two weird Stone, science. he's great. Chet, oh, weird Of course. You know, a cigar sandwich served in a dirty ashtray. <laughs> not a cigar sandwich. It's not a cigar sandwich. Um, How about a nice greasy pork sandwich, <laughs> sandwich served, served in, in a, a dirty, dirty ashtray. ashtray? Greasy pork sandwich served in a dirty ashtray. No, he's great in that. I... I don't like, I, I always felt God like. God bless him, passed away. I know, and like Way senselessly. Senseless. Way too young. But Helen Hunt, yeah, beautiful in that. I was in love with her. I was in, in love with her. In uh, Mad About You. I was like, I want to marry Jamie someday. I also thought that his girlfriend, what, who she played like, she had that really like Texas accent, you know what I'm talking about? I know exactly what you mean. Uh, Billy likes to, what, that was his name, right? Billy, oh, is it Billy? Philip Seymour Hoffman. Oh my God, was he in that? Food. 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 Yes, he was the crazy guy. He was like, they call him the extreme. Why do they call him that? Because he is 
the extreme. Oh man. Ah, oh, that movie is so, I saw that so, I think I saw it like three times in the theater. It's right when Van Halen, uh, For Unlawful Carnal Knowledge came out. Okay. And like, yes, we both, we share a love, a love for that album. And here we go. Let's We're gonna do it. do it. What do you wanna do? David Lee Roth, Sammy Hagar. I don't, I mean, Do you wanna I, out yourself? You know I don't know if I wanna out myself, but I'm, I will, cause I don't care. Uh, I'm out of papers. Dang it. I'm Sammy Hagar. I'm Sammy Hagar all the way. I, 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 and I'm I, Sammy Hagar for a different reason, though. I, I think Sam, I, I just like Sammy Hagar. I thought he was had a better voice. I'm Sammy Hagar predominantly because Joe Graw, which I hope he watches this, Joe Graw is an amazing frontman. He's also crazy, and like in the, in the best. And they are backstage and there's like a meat tray. Sounds dirty. This is where the, <laughs> and he's like going out and the, one of the guys comes back and goes, hey, 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 that's not for the openers. That's for Roth, man. So Joe goes. Mean for the meat tray? Challenge <laughs> accepted. And he starts a food fight backstage and they get kicked off the tour. Like they were gonna play with him for like several dates and they're supposed to be out on the road with him for like three weeks and comes back what? and is like, I thought you were on the road with Rothman. He goes, get this shit. <laughs> and they got kicked. David Lee Roth, crazy, throw chairs out of a, a hotel room and trash it, kicked a friend of mine's band off tour. Cause he was eating his meat tray. We're a food fight. That's rock and roll. Wow, that's the worst story I've ever heard. Can I get over to get that package? I can't. And now I'm going back. Gonna get that package. Get that package. Oh, Bunch. lady. You know what, lady? I'm trying to do the best I can. I'm just a paper boy, for God's sake. Oh, that's a nice Oh, job, right? that was... You're good at this game. It's all timing, my friend. Breaking windows, throwing paper. But it's also throwing. And as we learned, well, you know how to... I know how to throw, and... You have to do this. If I could only avoid dogs. I want to I want to show show what he did. He did I think I retained a lot one. of people in this. <laughs> I Seriously, what was the scene that you had to cry for? I know what scene you had to like die in. What scene is that? <laughs> that was just for you, TJ. Okay, I didn't die. <laughs> I got really <laughs> sick. I had a fever. I had a fever. 110. <laughs> hey, you know, you want to know something funny? You will like this. Uh, we used to do crossover, so that's soap opera I was on. It was called uh, uh, it's called Poor Charles, and if anybody watches the show, don't you don't have to add a clip in here. Listen very carefully. I'm about to perform at the nurse's ball. You probably will, but don't. I already have. Uh, it's already don't. happened. Just don't. Mm. But here's the thing. Uh, there's a, here's another clip you're gonna find. <laughs> we had to do a thing called the nurse's ball. Okay, so General Hospital, we we would cross over and do the famous General Hospital show, and they had the thing called the nurse's ball. Okay, and for whatever reason, various doctors would break into song, in acts what? for like the gala. Wait, is this for, or an the event? Gala. Is it a gala or gala? I like gala. Is or, it a, is a gala. show or this is an event? It's, it's like the event within the show. So you know how hospitals put on galas for charity. General mm, Hospital yes. put on a gala. So all the people, the young interns from Port Charles, crossed over, and we had to sing in a <gasps> song and dance number. Doctor, doctor, give us the news. I got a that case of loving you. Oh, yeah. There's film of this? There's film of it. I'm sure Drew's found it by now. Let's cut to that right now. Doctor, doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of loving you. And that, what you just witnessed, is when I cried on camera. I wasn't supposed to, but I just started crying because I realized my career's over. And now I'm playing games on a couch for free. <laughs> so, again, with Paperboy, I think if you break the window, do you get the... You get <sighs> fired. No, no, no. If you break the window, that's how you get a subscription, isn't it? If it's at a red house, you that's how you get the subscription. You the, have you, to hit for the, the window. It's the weirdest thing ever. It's like, uh, dear, the Paperboy was, was going past, and Don, if he didn't break the window. However... I like this paper. What do you say we subscribe? The weirdest.
weirdest what thing. Was this 1940? 1930? What yeah, is but that? he's delivering papers. It's kind of an anachronistic job. Oh. Like nobody, who does this anymore? <laughs> oh, something just happened on set that he edited out. Whoops. Woo! Wait till we take this live. Any, anywho, um, yeah, well, as, as people know that my, I, did, I was part of a paper route, my brother's paper route. There and was the something I, a little bit I, more specific. I was raped by a golden retriever, <laughs> but the point is... Retro we won! And, and, and the dog jumped on my back and began humping me. I never had my own paper route, and that's kind of why. Hey. Son, go out there and get a job. I am a dog. Don't make me go do the papers, Dad. And I'm still a dog lover. Uh, Does this freak you out when the dog chases you in this? No. Because he's a terrier, he's not yep. a like a lab? Terriers are, are cute. <laughs> Ruff. Ruff. Uh, no, it's not a problem. Dog, didn't but I never watched, watched uh, Scooby-Doo again. First job? What was your first job? My first job was working at a dry cleaners. You know, in a related field. That's incredibly depressing. It was, uh, but I could smoke like crazy. Like the owner smoked, everyone that worked there smoked, which is a little, like you would think would not be where, we would go back where all the clothes were and just like smoke, uh, like How crazy. How did I miss that? And the owner would never be upset with me. I was like, I'm going on a smoke break. He was like, of course you are. It's more like you smoke here and you go on a work break. Um, <laughs> but I like that. I, <laughs> I worked there. Hey, and, Mr. What? Uh, I, I, hey, your neighbor's doing the same move. He can't get you his pants dating? off. That's weird. That? I don't I'm, you asked me a story. I'm telling you. Oh, I, I didn't really my want an first answer. paycheck. It's a rhetorical I, question. No, my first paycheck. I spent. I got it in my hands. It was like eighty nine dollars, and I immediately went to the bank and I cashed it. And I went to the mall. I went get to a store and I bought a pair of Pepe jeans because I never, ever, ever had anything designer in my entire life. I blew my entire paycheck on a single pair of jeans and I wore them every day. Should have saved the money for the new tire on your unicycle. Pepe jeans. Pepe jeans. I even they had like a little tag and I, when they, when I wore them out, they became shorts. You wore them out? <sighs> Absolutely. You wore out your Pepe jeans? Yes. You wore Pepe jeans in, in, in South Texas. Dallas. Did you move or did they ask you to move? <laughs> they were designer. <laughs> they were like, dude. They were, the, they were like the most. Do you remember Pepe, Pepe jeans? jeans in South Texas? Yes. They, now there's a good reason to build a wall. Central, North Central Texas. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Wow. That's we got to get the guys in Dallas who wear Pepe jeans. I felt this was the. Well, this is when I like discovered. It just like, doesn't seem like there'd be cowboys wearing. I've got my Pepe jeans. And no, the man, L. you wore them Lees or Levi's. That's right. And, and, jeans should start with the letter L. That's kind of how. No, I wore these because I felt like uh, I finally felt cool. I felt like I I had never had anything designer before. I never had a pair of oh, Nikes. Shit. I never had a pair of, you know, I didn't have Jordache jeans. I didn't get Z Cavaricis. Remember that? Do you remember Z Cavaricis? 1990, what are you doing? Not wearing Z Cavaricci or Pepe. Dude, Z Cavaricis were like oh God. the coolest. They were the black ones, kind of like little. They were Maybe you were ahead pants. of your time. I will give you credit. You you do have a lot of style no, with Z, the clothing. Z Cavaricci and I can't, Zodiac shoes. Oh my God, it's all coming back to me now. This is like Arsenio Hall days, right? So this is like this is like 89, 90, 91, and you wore Z Cavaricis, were black and had the white tag right on the fly. And then Zodiac shoes were like weird, pointed, monk strap shoes. I'm telling you, this is what was important to me. This is, these are the things that was important to me that I identified with. You identified with sports and- You identified with Z Cavaricci jeans. That to me was, was the picture and portrait of cool. And because I didn't have those things, I never felt cool. So when, really? I'm dead See, serious. For me, pants were just to cover my genitals. It was yeah. like, this didn't have a function beyond but like, don't did, get arrested for being naked. <laughs> but what did you have that you were like, this makes me feel cool? Like, what, what, was, what was your thing like? It could be anything. What was it? Or did, was that not even a thought? I got to tell you something. And I'm going to be honest with you. My wife, to this day, laughs over the fact when she met me, I was wearing high waters. 
I was 25. Like, you need to change this. <laughs> no, she was like, oh, she, no, you ask my wife. Anybody meets my wife, she'll look at you and you go, he just looked like he really needed a hug. <laughs> That's what, you know her. She, you ask her that. She did, said, she, did she love you at first sight? I, no, she had mercy on me. <laughs> she had mercy. She had mercy. Then she was just like, hmm. No, I, I really, I was, I just, you know, it just, that was, and I was thought, I look pretty good. I've seen pictures. <laughs> and now I've that seen I know pictures better, of myself. No, but it, it's true. I, and now that I know better, it's like, I'm, I'm, I, I'm joking with right. you. Because you know how I, I admire your style. I couldn't do what you do. I would look ridiculous. And everyone knows it. But I I'm look ridiculous. To, I just own it. <laughs> like, I didn't have this shirt. And that. It's never going to get more truthful than that. <laughs> I, 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 I remember when this shirt was out, right? This is 88. I couldn't get this shirt. Like, you would either go to, there was no Hot Topic, there was Spencer Gifts. Yeah, but I, and Spencer I had, Gifts, you could go to get this shirt. I, but you just asked me, like, what did I have that made me feel cool? It could have been the bike. I, and I, it could have I, been... don't, I have never felt cool. Hmm. I have never felt really cool in my life, except one time when my son woke me up, brought in the laptop, said, Dad, you got to see this, and showed me, Harrison Ford playing Uncharted 3 in a Sony commercial yeah. in Japan. And he goes, did I fall out of the plane? And he's playing it. And he goes, Indiana Jones is playing you. And I, 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 for a couple seconds, maybe longer, I felt cool. I was like, that was, that was cool. But other than that, like especially clothes, you've, we've gone shopping. <laughs> you just sit there and you go, oh, you really, oh, are you being funny? You don't know. It's a disaster. I think Harrison if Ford... If I start ever looking good, it's probably him going, <laughs> wear that, trust me. I, I will say, Harrison Ford playing your game is far cooler than a pair of Pepe jeans. Duh. Pepe jeans in Dallas. You should Stop be, it. You should be ashamed of yourself. You, can't be like, oh, you go to trail dust right now. I put a belt buckle on it. No, no. What does it say? That's Vive la France. <laughs> All right, what do we play next? <laughs> I said it so, it was in such sincerity. <laughs> I was so earnest. <laughs>